Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Look where I am, I'm in the Bricklink store. I'm extremely excited to be back. This is my, it's actually like my second or third day back, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back here. So what we decided is Paul was gonna take over and he did take over for the month of April. I didn't step foot in here. Obviously you guys noticed that if you're watching all my videos, none of them took place in the garage here. Um, so now it's May and I'm, what's today, May? Today is May 6th. I think you'll see this on May 8th though. Um, but I'm gonna be back here in the Bricklink store uh, taking care of orders and, you know, parting out sets and stuff. So obviously there'll be more BrickLink content that you can watch on the channel that are specific to what we're doing in the store and stuff. Um, and a big part of that is going to be the expansion and the start of the expansion on the wall here, um, which I have some stuff ready for here with these uh, drawers. So we got eight more of the drawer organizers there. And what that'll be is it'll go for the wall that goes this way. And then we'll have the, obviously the wall that goes this way. That'll be a larger expansion, but we'll start with these extra eight things. And there'll be two down there at the bottom, two more, two more, two more. And we can't do the top row up there because the garage door does have to open on these rails. But we can at least uh, get eight more things here, eight more organizers, drawer things, um, on the small wall that'll be over there, uh, kind of perpendicular to the actual large wall. And then it'll make that uh, horseshoe shape and continue around here. So the awesome thing is, uh, you know, we have these eight drawers here that are ready. We do have some more sets over here that are ready to part out. If you guys saw way back in March, we got a ton of those friend sets. So we have 12 or 16 of those. I can't quite remember. It looks like probably 12. Um, but we got all those sets to part out. We still have some of these little Mandalorian battle packs that need to be parted out. We have some of these uh, Lego Ludo games. Um, we got those on sale at... I don't know where Paul got those. I don't remember. Um somewhere and then uh we have all these that need to be listed as well still and then in here we got a variety of different poly bags as well inside there so there's a lot of pieces that can go in the store probably uh what uh, 12 probably another 20,000 pieces plus that can go in the store that are ready to but what i'm doing before that is uh it seems like there were a few orders when paul was picking orders in april so or sorry a few errors in the order so what i'm doing and what I have been doing for the past two days. So our store's been closed for a couple days here. It'll be open, probably not on the 7th, but it'll be open on the 8th. So whenever you're watching this video, it should be open again. But I've been painstakingly going through and matching each piece in our inventory that we printed out here with the actual drawers that are down there. So over here, these are sheets that are done. You can see I've highlighted all the errors um, or anything we need to look at at least. Those aren't all errors, I guess. But over here, most of the errors are, you know, quantity 37, that's how many we have. It said there should be 32. We actually had 37 down here. It said there should be one. Uh, focus, there we go. <laughs> said there should be one, we actually have two. Uh, down here, said there should be 100, we actually have 105. So a large majority of the uh, errors that we had are actually parts that weren't listed. We also have this whole drawer here. And you can see we have some of the cactus girls in here, as well as a ton of extra pieces that are just not even listed in the store. Um, at least not yet. I have, I've gone through all those pages over the past two, three days or so. Um, and it's, it's a terrible process here. Uh, quite a few of these pages here. And then all of these here, if I had fixed on it, that means I've fixed it in the inventory online. This has, doesn't have that yet. So I got to go in and I'll type in the drawer, the remark number, and then I'll uh, update the quantity or whatever of each of those pieces. But yeah, um, I have how many more sheets? One, two, three, four three in a tiny bit um, and these are front and back you can see this one's kind of already been done a little bit um, but this is a terrible process absolutely not fun at all I wouldn't recommend it um, but it is good to get the inventory fixed in our store a lot of what the problems and the errors have been were in these original drawers over here that I've had for what three or probably three-ish years now um, so the first what four drawers over there plus that top one plus this one and then I think this one is where I started um, back in December of 2019, and I started buying more drawers. I'm not sure if I had that one or not. Or, yeah. Oh, actually, I did have this one. I didn't have this one. So that's where we had all these big drawers, and then we started getting all the little drawers. So from here on, as far as I can tell, everything has been not 100% accurate, but very, very accurate. It was these first uh, seven drawers that were kind of a disaster, not going to lie. That's where most of the errors were. Also had some errors over here in the uh, bins, mostly with minifigs being listed as uh, like only two of them, and we actually have three. Um, so, you know, it's good to get minifigs listed if you have the, a certain quantity. Um, for whatever reason, these guys, these Harry Potters have been in the cup. We have like 60-something of these guys. 
those weren't listed either, so I don't know what happened there. Um, but it's good to find the errors, but let me tell you, it is not a fun process. And each of these sheets, um, depending on the quantity, because each piece changes in quantity, some of them only have like 10 or 12. Those are really easy to count. Some of them have a lot larger quantity, you know, 242 there. Um, when it's a larger quantity, it takes a lot longer to count, but I can do about, about two of these sheets per hour. Um, so it's very, very slow. And there were 50, 50 sheets, uh, 50... I can't do this with one hand, I'm so sorry. There are 51 sheets, or 50 plus one, plus like a few lines actually. So 50 sheets, so assume 25 hours or so. And then I had um, my girlfriend and my sister were, were here uh, helping as well a couple days ago so that we got through a ton of sheets that day. Um, so total I've probably spent, oh, I don't know, maybe 16 hours so far um, finishing all these up. So not fun, probably have a couple more hours here to finish those up. And then, uh, well, I don't know. This might not take too long because most of them are trays. The last page is the trays. So the trays over here should be super simple to go through. Um, but we'll see on that. Sorry about talking about inventory. It's very boring. Um, but my plans for expansion are, I have these lights up here. Sorry, it's going to be so bright, but I have four of them right now. There are more lights behind those black things in a box. Um, four more of them. And those I'm going to put on this side because if you can see over there, it's kind of dark right now. And then with this store expansion plan, I might have some wood, um, like two by two by threes or something. Maybe, I'm not sure if I do, but I need these one by fours. So I need a few more of these to actually mount these uh, two. And then from there, those are what, what'll go across and actually be mounted on. And then we'll use the two by, probably just two by threes for the vertical support. But this one will have to go out here and then it can't touch, can't go to the ceiling because the garage has to open. So it'll go out here and we'll have some sort of support that goes back that way. And then uh, the one that actually goes all the way out here, once we get to about this point, we could go up and we could secure it to the, the rafters up there. So sorry if that was a terrible visualization, but uh, I hope in the next uh, week or so, actually I know in the next week. So within, I would say by next Friday, you guys can expect a video that'll have this expansion here done, um, which is super exciting. My first plan is to get the lights up. After the lights are up, then I got to clear this little area out. This will all go to storage. Um, it's just kind of old tools and stuff. Some of it might just be able to get rid of some animal trap for whatever reason, because this needs to be our new pathway into the garage when the garage door opens. Um, and then over here, this is what we've been using, which has been great, except it'll be covered up now. Yeah, so that's kind of the updates. Uh, we got this cool little fancy remote. Turn the lights on and off. Uh, I have one on up there just so it stays light, but kind of fancy, you can just turn it on and off real easily. Um, hope this video hasn't been too shaky, I apologize. Let me make it wider. That'll make it a little less shaky for you guys. Um, but yeah, plan is to finish up this inventory here. And then you guys can expect to see some parting out videos. You can expect to see some picking a BrickLink order videos, which I'll be super excited to do once again, because it's been a while since I picked an order. Um, quite a while, actually. So yeah, without, uh, you know, I don't have much, much else to really tell you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, as always, click the subscribe button. If you like the video, click the like button. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in Brickside Chat on Sunday, which will once again take place here in the garage, which I'm super excited about, and we'll have the nice background of all the drawers. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.